and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so this will be our first actual lua tutorial we'll be we'll be getting a little bit into the code which is really nice so i will be using vs code for doing lua stuff but if you don't want to use vs code that's perfectly fine sublime text notepad whatever you feel is best that will work perfectly fine i just like vs code because it's a nice ID. So let's first start with how would you run it. Now, if you have VS Code, you should have the uh, wrong button. You should have this here. You can usually press the de debug button and just try to run it or something. I usually don't do that unless I really write, uh, unless I really want to debug or something. But usually that's not the case. And I would usually just go to that folder. So in my case, it's Home, Documents, Trash, YouTube, Lua. And then if I show what's inside of this, there's just the main .lua. Take note, if you create a file, it has to be a .lua. So if I were to just open up my file manager here, as you can see, here's a main .lua. It has to be a .lua. Make sure that this is the .lua and not a .txt. I'm looking at you, Windows users. So you can just say, create new document, and just say whatever, and it has just has to be a .lua. As long as it's .lua, it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, once you have that, then to run it, I believe if you have installed Lua in correctly, then you could possibly just double tap on it and will run it, but I know. So if you're on Linux, and I believe if you're on Windows as well, if you go to the directory, you can just say Lua and the file name, and it will run that file. If you don't know if you have Lua installed, if you type Lua, then it should give you this little thing. This is an interpreter. So here we can like type Lua code if you want. So we can just say hello if you wanted to, you know, so yeah. So yeah, that is about all there is to that. Uh, we, we usually won't do this. I usually only use that if I need to do a quick math calculation. I don't want to open up the cal calculator or if I just want to test out some code. So let's first off start off with comments because throughout this whole course, I want you to create as many comments as possible, telling yourself in the future what this does. Because comments are basically pieces of code that does not get executed. So for example, this is a comment. So if I say, if I just put anything here, whoops, you also see that it gets colored out. So if I do that, you can see the, the two are different colors. So if I do that and I just save, sorry, and I run the file, and as you can see, nothing happens. But if I just do that, nothing, I don't think anything will really happen, but yeah. So we've got a syntax error because that's that you didn't we don't know what that is. So yeah, this is very useful because maybe you want to, you know, pr put some text here or something here like some code like hello. You can't actually do that, but you know if you wanted to, then you can put a comment after a line of code, which we'll get to in a second. But what if you wanted to span multiple lines on a comment? Well, this is very useful then. So it is two dashes and then two square brackets and in here this could span multiple lines so two things here as long as you're inside of these you can create as many comments as you want and once you're inside of it comments have stopped same here comments have stopped okay so that's comments i want you to make as many of them as possible i'll give you a few examples along the way so yeah, now let's get to printing text to the screen one way to do that is to use print. Very simple. You can use double quotes or single quotes. Both are perfectly fine. So if we say hello world. And there we go. Now we have a basic hello world. We run that. As you can see, here it says hello world, which is really nice. As I said, we can also do just a single quote. Perfectly fine. Do that says hello world. Take note that it does need quotes. If you're going to remove quotes, it's going to ask you what's happening. You know, because it's it's not text. If it's inside of quotes, it's considered text. If it's not inside of quotes, it's not considered text. And with comments, we're going to put a comment here and say print text to screen. Or we could put a comment above it and say print text to screen. Or we could even put a comment below it. It doesn't matter where you put a comment. We can even put a multi-line comment and say print 
text to okay just ignore my horrible typing that should say print text to screen if we run it it won't give us any errors so as you can see it says hello world take note that if we were to move this line and put it inside of here it won't execute because now it's inside of a comment take note nothing in a comment gets executed when the program gets run, ran it goes okay ah two dashes skip this line go to the next line it reads, it does this, and it says, oh, two dashes. Okay, skip this line, go to the next line. And here it says, sees, uh, two dashes and two brackets. Okay, that's a definitely skip until we find this, and then continue. So that's kind of what it does. Also take note that the same applies. If you put two dashes there, it won't be able to execute. So, so yeah, that's a comment, and that's printing. But what if you wanted to print multiple things at once? because later on we're going to get to parts where we want to print multiple things at once. So what we can do is we can, let's say we want to split hello and world, put a comma right there and say world. Now if we run it, then as you can see it says hello, but then it's a tab and then world. So this is just nice if you just want to print out a bunch of things, maybe we want to print out a number here. So let's say uh, 2 plus 5, and there we go here. We can say that would be 7. Do that, and as you can see, 2 plus 5 is so we could just like an equal here or something else, equal to 7. But yeah, so that's very useful if you want to work with numbers and stuff like that. But maybe you don't want that because maybe this tab is, you know, you don't like it. You don't want to use tabs. And then if we say dot dot and then world, then it will add these two. Just like that. It won't add spaces, nothing, which means it's going to be one word and hello world. If you want to add a space, all we've got to do is we can go like that, save it, do that, it gives you a hello world. Want to add a space? We can do that as well. We can also mix these uh, quotes, so you know you can have double, single quotes, it doesn't matter. Lua is very nice and very friendly when it comes to text like that. Take note, you can also do this with numbers, so if we go 2 plus 2 is equal to and in here we can just go and we can say 4 that will give us a number do that it gives us perfect output take note that you can also put that 4 inside of quotes if you want to make it a piece of text and not a number because those two are different things we'll be getting it into that later gives you the same output so yeah that is the basics of output and comments in Lua it's really simple and if you had any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask me because I will I'll never get tired of answering your questions if you have any. If you did like this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe and I will see you all again in the next video.